What about conservatives that are worried when you reach across the aisle with Russ Feingold, Ted mm -hmm. Kennedy, um, Joe Lieberman, Joe, well, Carl Joe Lieberman. Levin. Yeah, I, the list is long. And, and can in. you reach across the aisle to the conservative base? Can you reach across to people that have been critical of you, Rush Limbaugh, James Dobson, and, and people that have been critical? Listen, I'm willing to talk with anybody who wants to talk uh, with me. But the people of Arizona sent me to the Senate to get things done. And I believe that I was able to get a lot of things done. Joe Lieberman and I joined together with legislation that created the 9-11 Commission. I'm not saying it would have never been created, but we did. And we worked together. And I think the 9-11 Commission was important to America. Every year I work with the Democrats to come up with a, a bill that authorizes the a training and equipping and the readiness of the men and women in the military. We work together on those issues. And do I, am I a strong conservative Republican voice? Yes. But I know that people want us to get things done. And what do one want of the reasons why they, they think so little of us is they think that all we do is fight in Washington mm -hmm. and not address issues. How do you hear Clinton claims that Barack Obama has not had the scrutiny that other candidates have had in this mm -hmm. campaign? There is an, a big emerging controversy about his pastor of 20 years, mm -hmm. a man who went on a trip with Louis Farrakhan to Tripoli. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a guy that has his church has given a lifetime achievement award to to Louis Farrakhan. We now have some of his sermons. He used the GD America, the U.S. of KKK of A. Uh, the chickens have come home to roost. He said the Sunday after the attack on this country on 9/11. Mm -hmm. Uh, he has called him, Barack has said of his uh, pastor, his trusted ad advisor. He's proud of his pastor. He married him and his wife. He's baptized his kids. Does that sound like a problem for you? I, I think that when people support you, it doesn't mean that you support everything they say. Obviously, those words and those statements are statements that none of us would associate ourselves with. And I don't believe that Senator Obama would support any of those he's as been, well. But he's been going to the church for 20 years. His pastor, the church gave a lifetime and achievement award to one of the biggest racist and anti-Semites in the country, Louis Farrakhan. Would you go to a church that would your pastor supported Louis Farrakhan? Obviously, that would not be my choice. But I do know Senator Obama. He does not share those views. And we get some time. I, I don't. A lot of those statements I've just heard for the first time that, that you mentioned. But I know that, for example, I've had endorsement of some people that I didn't share their views, but, they, they, you they, recently, but yeah. they endorsed mine. And so I think we've got to be very careful but about that. But that he wasn't your pastor for 20 years. Let me, let me give you one other emerging controversy. We've dealt with a lot on Hannity and Combs and my Sunday show, mm -hmm. Hannity's America, and on the radio show. Uh, and the Barack Obama campaign uh, in the last week and a half said that he has a friendly relationship. He's been on a board with a guy by the name of William Ayers. William Ayers was with the Weather Underground, a group mm -hmm. that, that declared war against the United States. On 9-11-2001 of all days, he had an article where he bragged about bombing our Pentagon, bombing the Capitol, and bombing New York City Police Headquarters. His campaign said last week they have a friendly relationship. Does that, when you hear about that, and I know you're on the road a lot, mm -hmm. Does that concern you, and do, should that be an issue in the campaign? My life has been one of reconciliation. If people want to put their past behind them, to apologize, to say, look, we've made mis mistakes in the past, but we want to move forward, I respect that and embrace it, because all of us have made serious mistakes in our lives, and I certainly am one of them. But if this person is still proud of that kind of activity... In 2001, if, he if, said, mm -hmm. I, I regret not doing more. Then, then, then obviously a person like that has to be repudiated or apologize for doing things that could have done damage to America. Declared and, and, that's and, a terrorist, what we're Americans, describing. So, well, you know. well, I, I would hope that that individual would come forward and say mm -hmm. that they regret, uh, that he regrets deeply what he did. And frankly, to, to, for anyone to be proud of that kind of activity of breaking laws is, is just not something that we can, in America, we think is right. What do you say to conservatives like, and we have a minute, Rush Limbaugh, James Dobson, Tom mm -hmm. DeLay, Rick Santorum, mm -hmm. uh, that have been pretty strong in their opposition ag against you? Well, I respect their views. I will continue to reach out to all parts of our party. If anyone would like to talk with me, I'd love to have the opportunity to talk with them. You'd go on Russia like show? Well, if he if he wanted to talk with me, uh, I would be glad to talk to him. Um, 
uh, honestly, I, I will not ask to, to speak to him. His views and others have been made very clear. But my job is to unite the party and to energize it and try and get as many people engaged and involved. And remember, we've got a big job ahead of us, including the independents, including the old Reagan Democrats. But right. I, am, I am proud of my conservative Republican credentials and record. I right, want to take a